Ever since American Pie made MILF a household word, I've had some thoughts about it. I mean, you might just think it's a label. M-I-L-F. Mom, I'd like to f But for me, it's been a career starter, ender, in between. Hey there, everyone. It is Miss Brittany Andrews, your favorite corn star that's been in the adult entertainment industry for the last three decades going on my fourth one. So I was around before the word MILF existed and I was actually in my MILFy kind of years when it became popular. So American Pie came out in like 1999. I was 26 at that time, but it didn't really like hit the adult entertainment industry until I was in my 30s when it became more of a mainstream, popular, you know, pop culture kind of terminology. I remember when I was in my early 30s and it kind of started getting into the adult entertainment industry as a terminology. And at that time, you know, those of us that were in our 30s, because back then that's when you would age out of the adult entertainment industry was in your 30s, because obviously, you know, a woman is old and she's got no value and she's done, right? And so at that point when the word first came out, I think most of us were not really happy with it because at that time there was not one single word that existed that really explained a mature um, woman that was positive, right? Everything that was said about a woman in her age was, you know, she's aged out, she's expired. The only reference that we had was Mrs. Robinson. Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. So for years, we're talking decades, hundreds of years, there was like no words, some kind of word that was positive about older women. So I think the majority of us at that time just was like, okay, this is another negative word for an older woman. We did not know that it was gonna change everything and everything it did change 100%. So at that time, like right around the age of 33, at that particular time, the adult entertainment industry was about ready to go completely under and go bankrupt. I could see the tides turning. I'd been in the business for 15 years. There was no way to make money off of content anymore because of all of the peer-to-peer -peer sharing. And I had felt like I had kind of aged out. I was really bored to death of the industry. After 15 years, I felt as though I had done everything. And I just, as a human being, needed to um, challenge myself in other ways. So I ended up going to New York. I did film school for three years and ended up uh, DJing and doing regular film stuff. But then, you know, when a certain platform came out that everybody knows about right now, I heard like, you know, all of the, the, the biatches were making the monies. And I was like, you know, I'm a good looking chick. You know, I'm, I'm going to come back into the, the industry because at that point, it's like, uh, MILF was the number one trending word uh, for keyword search terms across the world. And so now there were women that were getting into the business in their 40s, which was like completely unheard of back in the day. So, you know, when I came back in, the word was being 100% embraced and I'm just really happy. That's Sophia back there looking for some attention. Everyone say, hi, Sophia. Isn't she cute? We've got Bella over there too. Say hi, Bella. So when I came back in, it was really cool because it had been embraced by the adult entertainment industry. And it's funny because I have all these civilian friends that are still like living under this, you know, rock that think that older women are not hot. I'm like, dude, older women are hot or like old bitches are trending, hashtag, right? I feel like from what I've seen, at least in the adult world, and thank you adult world for, for giving life to the older woman to be able to be in competition and have leverage, very empowering. And so I tell all my civilian friends like, old bitches are trending. Like you need to tell your age, like that's going to get you really hot young guys. So don't be lying about your age. That's like something positive, not something negative. As somebody that's now in my fifties, you know, I'm like, you know what, you know, kind of believing the old story that your value goes down with age. But, you know, I had another girlfriend of mine that, you know, I adore the lovely Miss Victoria Zadrock, who's a legendary play 
mate. <laughs> I was like, you know, I'm in my 50s. And she was like, yes, we have so much more value. If you're able, you know, to keep it proper, keep it tight, keep the waist snatched, you know, even not. I mean, because now all different body types um, are beautiful and acceptable, which I'm loving. But if you're able to like keep it together, right? As you get older, it's all about supply and demand. And there's so much less competition as you get older because it's kind of easy to be hot when you're younger, not so much when you're older. And so the demand is still there because a lot of older men, they don't want to be with really younger women because it makes them feel old. They don't want to be with somebody their daughter's age because it creeps them out. They want to be able to have a proper conversation with somebody. The competition goes away, but the demand is still there. And so your value for the ladies that are out there listening, if you can, you know, keep it snatched, you know, your value goes way up as you get older. So they've been telling us lies. It's all lies, man. Quite often when I'm getting interviewed, people are like, well, what do you think of that word? And it's just been interesting because when the word first became popular I was very like eh, eh, eh. and obviously well not obviously you probably don't know who I am but I don't I mean I've got kids those are my children right there oh and then the kitty over here Mia I've always been I feel like I'm more a cougar than a milf but cougar didn't really kind of take off all that much in the adult entertainment industry the way that milf did and I'm just super grateful that when I was younger, you know, I was able to ride the wave. And then as I've gotten older, I've been able to ride the wave. And I'm super happy that, you know, all the young, hot, cute boys really love Mistress Mommy. Because it's really good for, like I said, empowerment, confidence, all those different things. So thank you to the young men out there that adore us older women. We appreciate you. And thank you to the older men that appreciate us older women as well. We adore you. Mwah. I hope you've enjoyed my thoughts and take on the word MILF as somebody that has been around from before the word existed to when it was becoming popular and then utilized it for my comeback when I got older. I hope you appreciated my thoughts today on the word MILF. If you like the corn industry and like finding out more about it, make sure to like, follow, and subscribe to your one and only Miss Brittany Andrews. Mm -hmm.